Hey everybody, Animal Man here. We're in Harwich, Mass at one of my favorite beaches and we're going to collect rose hips, one of my favorite wild foods. But to get to my secret spot, which is right over there, we've got to cross this, this little tidal estuary area. And we wait till low tide to do this because when it's high tide, it's up past my waist and it gets very, very quick, the current. So we're going to cross it now. It's about a foot deep at the deepest. So here we go, and then I'll show you my secret spot. I've been coming to this same spot for probably five years now, almost five years, and it's my favorite place to collect them. And they grow in you know, a lot of beaches and on the sides of the roads, even in shopping areas, but this is still my, my favorite spot with the best rose hips. So check that out, that's all roses, still roses, still roses, all the way down, about a quarter mile long. This whole stretch is just solid roses. And the kind that grows the beach usually is called the wrinkled rose. And uh, just like a lot of other things in nature, you know, if they've got a great defense, that should make you say, hmm, things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> Anybody else sing when they're happy? I do. Don't mind me. And here's the flowers for you. So you can identify it by those two. And they're very wrinkly looking. That's why they call this the wrinkled rose. And look, some are just still getting ready to bloom. I mean, first week of October, and they're still blooming. And we're at the beach, nonetheless, too. Now, that's quite amazing. All right, so here we are. Here's a good spot. One of my good secret spots. And there's still some rose hips on this plant. They ripen over the course of a month or two, so when you go to pick them, there'll always be some that are ripe, some that are overripe and get ready to fall off like these, and there'll be some that are still green and ripening. So you're looking for ones that are, let's go to this section here, that are all red, so they're at peak, here we go, peak of ripeness. And these three, this cluster here, looks great. So you can see the rose plant, first of all. That's how the leaves are. The leaves are very, very rough. And the stems they grow on are full of thorns. You can see those thorns there. I mean, they're uh, they're just brutal, just bristling with thorns. So, what happens with this plant is every year it flowers, and each flower, if left unpicked, will then form into a fruit full of seeds. And these are the rose hip fruits. So if you've got roses at your house, you know, in your hedges or something, and you want some rose hips to grow, just don't pick the roses. That's the key there. So the way you pick them is you can either just put your fingers around them and pop them right off, or you give them a little twist. You have to be careful you don't smush them because they won't last as long if you smush them. And that's perfect right there. So that's a rose hip. And the way you eat these right off the bush is you just, I hold it by this part, the part where the little leaves come out, and then you nibble around the whole thing because the inside's full of seeds and they're kind of hairy and and they're hard to chew and they're yucky so just like this I'll show you here you just nibble it just like that i'm gonna bite into the seeds to show you the seeds now so there's the seeds check this out and oh man these are so good so the little white things are the seeds, so you can see how kind of this the flesh of the fruit all the way around, and the inside's got those seeds in it. So that's it. Great vitamin C, a yummy, yummy treat at the beach, and cool thing to know.